Alright, welcome back to uh, Got Wire. I'm uh, Adam, and today we're going to talk about the Barrel AX uh, travel router. And this is what it looks like. It's just a tiny little travel router. It's got a blue light on the front and on the back. You have your power, and then you have uh, 2.5 gig WAN and 1 gig LAN. And here's what the box looks like. Barrel AX Wi-Fi 6 router. And uh, I'll show you guys how to configure uh, OpenVPN on it and how to make your own Wi-Fi name and password. All right, I got the travel router plugged in here. Um, I just got plugged into a LAN port uh, into my PC with the Ethernet cable. And then uh, open up your web browser and then go to the default IP address. It's uh, on the bottom of the router. It's uh, 192.168.8.1. Hit enter. And I already logged in. I'm, it'll ask you for a password. You, uh, the default password is on the bottom of the router. You just type that in. Uh, and there's a couple ways you can hook this up to the internet. Um, you can do it as a Wi-Fi repeater at like a hotel. You connect it to the hotel's Wi-Fi. And then all, all your devices connect to this. So some hotels will only let you have one device or you have to pay extra for more devices. So that way you can connect this and bypass that and you know connect multiple devices and just pay for one. Uh, you can hardwire it if the hotel has a ethernet port. Uh, I went um, to see my family and, and stayed at a hotel and they had two ethernet ports but neither of them worked. They weren't hooked up so it could be hit or miss. Uh, you can do tethering and connect your phone to it and do um, tethering, you know, wireless uh, or, you know, USB-C to the USB port on the router. And you can do tethering and also a cell phone. You can connect it with a cellular network. Um, but to change the Wi-Fi name and password, you get an interface here on the left. You just click on wireless and I already changed mine and see how it won't let you. Uh, you have to click on modify at the bottom here. And you have the 5 gigahertz, and then you also have 2.4 gigahertz. And you can create a guest network, but, uh, you know, I don't think anybody's going to use that. Um, but you hit modify, you change it, type in your password, and then hit apply. And that'll make um, its own wireless network for you. And then 2.4, same thing. Now, to connect this to the internet, you know, once you get your wireless name and password set up, um, when I was staying at a hotel, I did repeater, and when I connected it to the hotel's Wi-Fi, um, it said it was connected, but it had no internet access. So what you have to do is you have to go down to your wireless settings in the bottom right and click on um, open up uh, the gateway because it, it popped up a portal, a captive, a captive portal, and you have to sign into the captive portal. But once you sign in on this on the captive portal, uh, all your devices will, you know, have, will have internet once you connect to it. And then the VPN, uh, to add a VPN, I use an open VPN. You click on VPN dashboard right here on the left, and I already set it up right here. Uh, but you click on set, it, set up now, and then you click on um, new group. And then I just drop my file in here from uh, PFSense open VPN that I have running on it. And when I did that, I just typed in a password to it. And when you go back to your VPN dashboard, you can enable it. And uh, all your traffic will route through the, your router through your VPN back home. Um, and so it also lets you have access to your NAS devices or anything on your home network. Um, I actually just used this and uh, at a hotel. And I uh, brought a uh, Roku, to, my Roku with me. And I was able to access my uh, Plex server in a hotel through this router like I was home. I didn't have to do any special configuring to get uh, or open up any ports to uh, Plex to get my Roku to work. Um, but the internet, what I found out too is on your phone, I have a adapter. This is a little adapter right here. It goes to USB-C to ethernet. And you can plug that into the bottom of your phone. And um, you go to a wireless hotspot tethering on your phone and you can actually feed this with internet from your phone. Ethernet tethering, and you can click on that and then it'll activate this ethernet port and you can plug that into the WAN. Um, but I'll show you um, repeater. I'll click on that and you can, um, the repeater, you click on connect down here, not up there. And I had it connected to my phone and this was the hotel that I had it connected to. It was a country inn but uh, it'll scan for other networks down here that you can connect to. I might just turn on my phone's hotspot 
<clears throat> and do it that way. Uh, but we'll connect it to the, my main Wi-Fi here at my house. And I'll type in my password from my, from my Wi-Fi here at my house. And it takes a minute for it to connect. But once it connects, it'll update here and you'll have internet access. Because right now I don't have internet access. And it'll actually update the... And it'll update here. You have green check mark. And you get your IP address, your DNS server. And then now you can load Google. And all it's doing is taking the wireless signal. Right... Um, bringing it to the router and then bringing it to my device through my LAN cable because I have my laptop here connected with a LAN cable. Um, applications, it has some pretty cool applications. Uh, the one I thought was cool was uh, AdGuard Home. You can turn this on and it'll block um, most of the ads on the website. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but sometimes it could mess with some websites uh, it'll, where it'll make it where some of them won't load. So if you get a, if you turn this on and the website won't load, uh, turn off AdGuard Home and it should let you log into it or, you know, get to the website. I haven't had any problems with it, but I turned this on and you can see the stats down here blocked by filters or DNS queries. But if I go to a news website like, uh, foxnews.com or whatever news website you want to go to, you know, pick your poison or uh, abc.com. I don't know. But normally these have a lot of ads. I should type in it blocked by filters. It just blocked three ads. So I really like that about this router. It'll block all these ads and show you a bunch of stats here. Um, but all in all, this is a pretty good travel uh, router. Uh, it works wonders for hotel Wi-Fi if you're staying in hotels. And, also, you know, that way you can just plug it in, all your devices, um, you know, just automatically connect to this. And you don't have to worry about connecting, you know, a bazillion devices. You just plug this in and you're set. Uh, I got mine on Amazon for like 100 bucks, um, But if you want, I'll uh, put a link in the description so you guys can just click on it and get it from Amazon if you want one. Uh, but... Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys like and subscribe, and uh, have a good one.